you may be seated. Wana inji owe. Akamba owe. Asanteni. Akamba muasio. Muasio inge. Hey. Asanteni sana. Leo ndugu Stephen Kalonzo. Amani pate mimi what they call carte blanche. Yani an open check. Akaniambia mimi niandike chochote ninahitaji. Nitaweka trillioni hapo ndani yake. Kwanza nataka kuanza kutoa shukrani sana. Kwa ndugu yetu Steve Kalonzo Msioka na wana wipe kwa kuandaa karamu kama hii. Hii ilikuwa ni karamu ya wipe ya kutoa shukrani kwa wafuasi yao kwa juhudi na ushindi. Lakini wakatualika kama azimio. Naake Waipa ni kiungo cha adimio. Atitukuje yote kama viongozi wa azimio. Kwa mimi nataka kuuliza viongozi wa azimio ambao wako hapa, wabunge, na viongozi wa vyama wasimame. Tuonekane. Simaona. Eh? Wengine wakuja hapa isemekane wakuja hapa juu. Onekane. Magavana wako wapi? Magavana. They are the most, the finest collected news. Sasa, meona sura ya zimio. Kila mutu angalia mbele huko. Kila mtu angalia mbele. Azimio. 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 Asante ni sana ama nimeweza kurudi mkiti. Hello? Hello? Nataka bile bile kutoa shukrani kwa rafiki yangu ambaye tunakuwa naye kila mara kwa mara tukifanya mazoezi ma, 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 Apostle Musiri huyu ni rafiki yangu sana tunafanya naye mazoezi kwa gym naona vile sisi tuko fit kabisa nzokambia nini tofauti na mambo ya Mungu yeye yeah, ako fit kabisa sasa hii hafla ni muhimu sana kwetu kama wana wana azimio 
Sasa Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Yohana John 1 that at the beginning there was word word was with God and the word was also God sio pili katika hiyo kitabu tu ya Yohana nane na mbili mpaka na tatu Jesus says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free kwa hivyo sasa leo tunasema ukweli ukweli mtupu nothing but the truth sasa marehemu askofu Desmond Tutu wa Afrika Kusini may the lord rest his soul in peace alisema and without truth there can be no justice without justice there can be no reconciliation without reconciliation there can be no peace without peace there can be no development hail ukweli mtupu ya kwamba bila ukweli atuwezi kukuwa na kwa bila ukweli atuwezi kukuwa na haki na bila haki hatuwezi kukuwa na utengamano bila utengamano tazuwezi kuwa na amani na bila amani hakuna maendeleo leo tuko hapa kusherekea ushindi ushindi wa waipa na ushindi wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya coalition there's no doubt in our mind that azimio won the elections convincingly the facts are there we got the highest number of members of parliament in the country we got highest number of members of county assemblies in the country we also won a number of governors and senators we won in most of the regions in nyanza in western in the coast in lower eastern in upper eastern in north eastern in a number of counties within the rift valley in nairobi and according to the wind blower several countries in the central province with those kind of statistics how could we lose elections so we know that we won elections and that's the reason why we talk with a lot of confidence that we won the elections and people know what transpired people saw what happened at at uh, uh, um, bombers of kenya on the 15th of august it has never happened anywhere in the world where the electoral commission when the referees in an election disagree publicly out of seven members of the electoral commission four said no to the results which were being announced by the chairman of the electoral commission only two said yes jointly with the chair their chairman under normal circumstances those results should not have been accepted they should not even have nobody should even have announced them there was a dispute within the electoral commission and that's why we talk with the confidence Three and four. my little knowledge of arithmetic tells me that four is bigger than three. for the first time we have seen a new math where three is bigger than four. We will not tire telling the truth. We want to make rigging a very very expensive enterprise. 
that nobody will ever again think of leaving an election in this country. Without resolving this matter convincingly, there will be no peace in this country. Kenyans will not go back to elections in 2027 and the election will be rigged again. It will never happen again. And we are going to tell them why it will not happen. It will not happen because Kenyans will not accept it. Now we have said that we want to see the truth. We have said that everybody was at fault. When we went to the court, we thought we would get justice in the Supreme Court. We did not get justice. We got, all we got was insults. Insults. My two see my two poor. Kwa hivyo sisi tumesema ata Supreme Court itachunguzwa. Itachunguzwa. Hii wa muzi ili. Soma, and I will quote the ruling that she is convinced beyond reasonable doubt that the IBC deployed virtual private cloud VPC virtual private cloud I don't know whether she was aware of what you're saying at no time during the, the petition did any party submit that IEBC deployed a virtual private cloud? It was never an issue. We never submitted on it. Neither did the defense bring it up. Where, how did it come in the ruling? It shows that the ruling was written somewhere by somebody else. So the, all of this thing was rotten and requires a proper inter interrogation. We have said, therefore, that we have, we agreed, we are not unreasonable people, that we will talk, we will negotiate. But the negotiations must be structured and must be constructive. All that our team has seen was nothing but stonewalling and time buying. That's why we agreed with the chairman of our by partisan team Utendiamolo say stop it stop the rubbish and you will not go back until they have come down to say A, B, C, D <laughs> the issues which are in contention are clear one we have said that they must agree the cost of living is too high for the people of Kenya. Karama maisha mepanda sana. Beya unga mepanda. Bado yiko juu. Beya mafuta yiko juu. Beya petroli yiko juu. Beya sukara yiko juu. Ata At a career shule yiko juu to add insult to injury. Wame kuja na kiki kitu na hitwa finance bill. Finance bill. Which is an insult to the people of Kenya. People already are struggling to make ends meet. Now you're adding with a lot of impunity. Alafu na sema di wapende wa sipende. Hiyo lugo tulijua sana. Wakati ya bwana bwana Salat na bwana Sharif Nasir na bwana Kariki Shotara. Mapendo asipende. Hiyo lugo tulizika. Hiyo lugo tulizika. Sisi si punda yako. Mbona tuweke mzigo? 
there will be no taxation without representation. He and the letter my pindus America. Come on, Ujui. Kwa hivu wazi kuongea na madaha na maringo. Atwe huko na wabunge mawa manunua. You have a false majority of members of parliament. I want to tell you that those people do not represent the people of Kenya. Those people are going to vote for you mainly because you have bribed them. But the people of Kenya don't support it. And we are urging the people of Kenya to withdraw the delegated sovereignty to parliament over this issue. That what parliament passes does not bind the people of Kenya. And the people of Kenya will be entitled to come out and protest and resist re repression by this regime. You have said this is not acceptable. Secondly, you have come up with a housing levy. Housing levy. You remember housing levy? We will not have a son. 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 We will not have you cannot introduce additional tax when the economy is in depression. You can't do it. And where did you get the 3% from? If you're saying it's investment, how about the employer? 3%. Investment, his employer is investing in what? Additional tax of 3% on an employer. That is completely unsustainable. So we said this thing need to be shelved and must be shelved. Secondly, servers. 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 If Unguliwe. Si Funguliwe. Si Funguliwe. Fungulive. <laughs> Saba ni hile mbae le rurushu wa kwa runinga Kutoka kwenye kituwe ya kupiga kura Na ingine kutoka kwa hile ya, ya, ya constituency Na moja kwa moja ikiangia ndani ya nyungu mbae na hitu wa kakimombu saba Sanduku ya kura si saba mbae saluwele Sasa tumesema hiyo saba mpake funguliwe Tulisikia kwa mba mweka vijana siji uh, alufbili ambayo wanajaribu kubadilisha mandeno ndani ya hiyo saba. Tunawangalia, tunawaona, mambia we, mutawana mkisheza. Tatu, mambo kuingilia vya mabia azimio. Kenya kwanza ilikuwa na vya mabiaki ambayo waliingia huku kwa hiari. Kuna zingine ambayo zingia ndani ya zimio kwa hiari. Na waliweka sahihi kulikuwa na mkataba baina ya zimio na hizi vya mazofi za kizote hizi. Bale uchaguzi umeingia kundunua hizi vyama. Kwanza ilikuwa ni UDM ambayo ilikuwa ni chama chetu cha azimio. Bila notisi, nasikia jamaa wamevuka wame mpaka, wameenda mgambo hili. Uyu bibi ya natoka bila kutupea na talaka. Hakuna talaka. Hata ki islamu hiyo si halali. Simpaka pena talaka. Kwa hivyo hiyo, kutoka kwa kizizi ya tutambui, UDM bado ni hapo kwetu. Hakitaka warudishi mahali. Ndiyo tuwezo kwa ruhusu Wale yote Pili sisa jubili Jubili Wamekata kutoka 
unanunua wale wabunge ati wao nataka sasa wao ni officials ya, ya jubilee wanataka kutoka na jubilee wa wengine pande ile hakuna kitu kama hiyo jubilee tulilima mahari ni yetu ni yetu na wamekataa kutoka unataka review atoke si wamekataa kutoka alafu sasa unachukua wale majumbe unapeleka kule na perupu rupu sasa nyinyi ndio officials natambua alisaza anasema mimi natambua fulani kama pate leader kama mimi ujinga hiyo si ujinga hiyo ni sasa gani hiyo atuweze kubali kama hiyo hiyo ni matusi ambayo mtu anafanya mchana kwa kutuheshimu vya mabingine kama wajumbe hiyo wanataka kuvuka mpaka tulikuwa tumeweka sheria tangu tuliburudisha mfumo ya vyama vingi katika taifa letu hiyo sheria imekuwa inaheshimiwa 1992-93 tulipongea kwa bunge kwa mara ya kwanza kuna wabunge ambao walivuka mpaka kwa kwanza alikuwa anaitwa Charles Likoa ngine Dr. Prom uh, Protas uh, Mamanyi kutoka Bonchari walienda kwa by election apili wawire kule uh, uh, nini uh, malava alirudi kwa by election jevan shavanga banomani na jafet shamala alirudi kwa by election dikudema saniri alirudi kwa kwa by election ochola gur ata tamo bondo rudi kwa elections wale wote ambao walikuwa wanavuka wanaingia kwa kanu walikuwa narudi kwa by elections kwa hivyo hao wabunge wa jubilee ambao wanataka kuingia Kenya kwanza warudi kwa by elections rudi kwa by elections tumesema juzi na tunarudia tena hapa tunaambia register wa wa, 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 wa political parties and the ritu jichunga sana chunga sana hatuwezi kukubali uingilie mambo ya ndani ya chama na kufanya mapinduzi ndani ya chama hiyo sio kazi yako chama ni wanachama na juzi jubilee iliandaa mkutano wao wakubwa zaidi kule katika rescos na tulikuwa kama wanazimio na wakapitisha resolutions pale kamili ya kutoa wale jamaa kwa mamlaka na wakapeleka huko tunataka wale officials ambao wameletwa wapya wasajilishwe mara moja atutaki register political parties ambao mtumishi wa umma jaribu kufanya siasa na vyama vya siasa yeye ni mtumishi na kama yeye anacheza atoke asipotoka tutamtoa hii manake sasa yeye amekuwa mtumishi wa waikulu wa state house anatumwa na ikulu kwa hivyo yale ni watu ni masharti ambayo tumesema mpaka yatimizwe kama timu ya Octendi ya Jarudi huko kwa hiyo mazungumzo. Sasa vizuri. Ingine sisi tunasema ati sasa wale wale ambayo wataendelea na mazungumzo ni wao peke yao. Sisi kama wanazimio hatutaendelea na mazungumzo na hao watu.
हेलो 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 असंजन जी असंजन तुम से किया हेलो 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 बार यू कैन नो मोर में बाकी जमा मंगिने अरे को चाहिए जी नाक से टक आना सेमा द केन्या ने कंपनी केन्या ने कंपनी अंबाए कोना हिस्सा कोना वाट तुम पे वा कोना हिस्सा मंगि गिने वाना चाचे Wengine hawana chochote. Hoi hai. Hawinde. Kama sisi hatuna hisa, tunafanya nini Kenya? Kwanza amesema kwa ajira ni wale ambao walipiga kura tu kwa Kenya kwanza watapata ajira. Na mmeona vile wanapeana ajira. Pena ajira. Jamaa anafanya kama yeye haishi hapa Kenya hii. Ukisoma Kenya gazeti kila wiki ina umoja peke yake. Peke yake. Peke yake. Tunataka kuambia kwamba Kenya iko na makabila 45. Na kuna mmoja ambaye yuko hapa kwa kibali au kwa mwaliko ya mwingine. Wa Kenya wote wako hapa kwa haki yao na watu wanatoa ushuru watu wanatoa ushuru hakuna eneo ya Kenya ambayo watoe ushuru unasanya pesa kwa watu wetu alafu wewe unatumia hiyo kwa maendeleo pande yako peke yake ajira kali unapaka kabila yako peke yake kabila yako peke yake wanaongea hata lugha yao peke yake katika maofisi ya serikali hizi ni matusi ni matusi kuna haki bwana Ruto kufanya hiyo kwa wakenya. Kuna haki kututoza ushuru. Alafu unapata watu yako peke yake. Kazi unapata watu yako peke yake. Kila mahali ukipata upate mkamba unatewa ati hata mkamba amepata. Ati hata mjeluo amepata. Hata kama mkisi amepata. Sawa ni wa Kenya. Unaajiri uh, uh, nini PS uh, permanent secretaries hamsini na moja Kuna hata mkisi mmoja huko. Hata moja Hata katika cabinet yako. Parasite zote unazajaza. Directors, chief executives, chairman na kadhalika. Kabila moja peke yake. Hiyo ni haki. Hiyo ni haki. Hiyo ni haki. Sisi tumekataa. Tumekataa. Tumesema ya kwamba sisi ni wa Kenya bila mwaliko ya mtu yote. Wa Kenya wako na haki. Kama wewe unasema wewe naibu yako ndiye amesema ati hao watu watakuwa naangalia tu. Ile kazi yake kukaa pale kuangalia kama gatekeeper wewe huko na shangapi wewe huna chochote rudi nyuma wewe kuja hapa mbele hapa namna hiyo na wewe hujakanusha hiyo tunampatia wewe wiki moja kukanusha yale maneno haya usipofanusha hiyo tutaandika kwa mmoja wa mataifa tunataka self determination We are Kenyans by right. We cannot be discriminated against every day. We got a new constitution with the Bill of Rights, which must be respected by this government. 
you continue to violate the Bill of Rights in our Constitution, discriminating against other Kenyans. And we are saying that this must stop forthwith. And it must begin the process of correcting all these imbalances. So that we know how many ministers do you have? And where do they come from? How many permanent secretaries do you have? Where do they come from? Parastatals, how many are they? And who will the leaders come from? Where? And so on. So that every Kenyan community must feel completely accommodated in the government. Sisi, kama wanazimio wa hatutaki fuju. Tunataka amani. Tunataka amani. Lakini ili tuwe na amani mpaka dijitarishe kwa vita. Sio? Sivyo? Sivyo? Kwa hivyo, tumambia banarutu ya kwamba kabla tujafika wako hili mambo ya, yako ya, ya budget mambo yale yote ya rekebishwe sivyo isipopanyeka namna hiyo unajua unajua si unajua si unajua unaunga mkono unaunga mkono azimio la yata the yata declaration the people of Azimio assembled here in Yata declare yes. one yes. that the cost of living must be brought uh, come, come down. Yes. Two. Two. Yes. That the servers yes. the presidential elections 2022 yeah. must be opened for auditing. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Three. That the officials of Jubilee yeah. whose names have been presented to the Register General, the Register General yeah. be registered forthwith yeah. and cease from interfering with the affairs of Jubilee Party and all other political parties affiliated to Azimio. No. Oh. Eh? Tatu. Begin the correction of imbalance in appointment in all public positions in the country. Or we will call for self-determination. As many as those of the same opinion say, I. As many as of contrary opinion say, nay. The highest of it. Nikiwa hapa yata mimi nongea bila wasiwasi wote. Hapa tuku hapa pandile ni athi. Athi riba naendelea ukuchini. Ngambu ili ngine ni tana. Between two major rivers of Kenya, with two great rivers here going down, which have got a history and which can eventually become the breadbasket in our country. So I just remember, like Bob Marley, who remembered between the, by the rivers of Babylon, 